Okay, a couple of interesting things today. Uh, first of all, on the right here is that cell that I made yesterday, still flashing away quite merrily. On the left is the original carbon lead cell, which of course itself is still flashing away merrily. Uh, I put them side by side, and then this right one started to behave quite oddly. Uh, it slowed down and it speeded back up. I realised something. These sync up together. Watch this. How about that? I bring that nearer to the carbon lead, and the thing flashes a lot more rapidly. <laughs> so that's what was happening. That seems to be what the effect was that I noticed uh, overnight. Oh, very strange. Anyway, on to the next thing. Uh, Bobby Texelabis asked me about using Epsom salts. So what I've got is another cell here made with the barbecue type of uh, charcoal and the inside of a dead AA battery. And all we've got in there is just some Epsom salt and rainwater. So, just made it and we'll see what's on it. I haven't charged it or anything yet. So, at the moment we've got, there we are, 217 millivolts. Now, with it being Epsom salts, I wonder if uh, we've got a decent amount of, uh, of amperage. I'll just put it on the microamps and have a look. Oh yeah, oh yeah, so roughly half a milliamp, somewhere like that. So the next thing I'll do is charge this up and uh, see if we can get those numbers higher. Right, it's off the charger now, so uh, we'll see what it's got and then I'll give it an hour to uh, fully settle out. So, initial reading, hey, 1.8. Oh, and that's not dropping very fast, is it? Okay, I'll come back in a bit and see what it settles out at. Okay, we're back half an hour later. Let's see what it says. All right, so 1.34. And now the current, I'll put it over to the milliamps just in case. It did seem to charge okay. And let's have a look. Okay, so starting off about 10. Falling off, but really quite slowly. It seems like about 1.3 volts and wherever this may settle. Not a bad little cell though for Epsom salts. So there you are for Bobby, that's that test. Okay I've left the meter on for a while now and it's very much slowing down so around about 3 milliamps constant out of it. Yes it's uh, not a bad cell at all. Alright there you go Bobby, hopefully, hopefully that answered those questions. And thanks for watching.